Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I'd like to share how to solve quadratic equation by using the completing the square. Let's rewrite the equation. We have x squared plus 3x for constant always move to the right. So it's equal to minus move over plus and we have 10. Now let's complete the square. Recall that when we expand square, this term is always becomes double. So which means that when we reverse the process, this should be half of its original value. So we take 3 over 2. This is plus, so remain plus. And for the first term, we have x here. By comparing, as we can see, we have only two terms, but when we expand the square, we should have three terms, which means that this term is in extra. To remove the extra term, very simple, we just have to minus. So we minus the square of this term, which is 3 over 2 squared. And this is equal to the right hand side, 10. Again, constant always moves to the right. So let's rewrite the equation. We have x plus 3 over 2 squared is equal to 10 minus move over plus 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 4, so we have 9 over 4, and this is equal to 49 over 4. Now let's take square root of both sides, so we have x plus 3 over 2, square, square root, cancel each other, no more. And this is equal to square root of 49 over 4, remember to add plus minus, and this is equal to plus minus, square root of 49 is 7, square root of 4 is equal to 10. Which means that we should have two possibilities. Firstly, x plus 3 over 2 is equal to negative 7 over 2. Or x plus 3 over 2 is equal to positive 7 over 2. Let's solve for x. For the first equation, we can minus 3 over 2 for both sides. So for the left hand side, plus 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 will left 0 x plus 0 is x, and this is equal to minus 7 over 2 minus 3 over 2, which is minus 10 over 2. Let's simplify, we should have minus 5. And for the second equation, also we minus 3 over 2 for both sides. So for the left hand side, again, we have x, and this is equal to 7 minus 3, which is equal to 4, and divided by 2, which means that the second solution is 2, and hence we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.